Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dot Hack GU. So, when we last left off, we got what we needed to head to this area. Now, this is a re-record of this because, just for fun, I wanted to see how this fight would be solo. Considering I was overleveled, I felt like it just wasn't a fair fight. I went in and got thrashed hard. So, don't take this fight lightly. We're gonna go in with a proper party. We're taking Adelie and... Do we take Adelie and Pi to let them get their salty runbacks? Or do we take Kuhn? You know what? No, no. If we're gonna take three people, we're gonna take an offensive party. We're taking... Endrance. And we're taking Kuhn. If we're taking a party, we're taking offense. Alright. Also, set this to our main weapon. Let's get going. This is not a fight to take lightly. Actually, the first part of the fight wasn't too bad, but uh... The second part, you guys will see. So let's go ahead and get these data seeds put in. Oh, wow. I, let's let's press no again. I hate games to start on, on the negative response. Finally, data C D. The pillars are resonating. Oh Vaughn! Oh, let me see if it'll say it again. I didn't mean to skip that. My bad, guys. At long last, I'll get to fight Ovan. I mean, Tri Edge. I'd better start making preparations for the battle. Do not take this battle lightly. Just because we were level 91, Ovan still spanked us. He actually. He actually counters guard pretty substantially. It was really stupid. Almost unfair, actually. We're coming, Triage. Come to think of it, everything may have begun spinning out of control from this place. Don't you think so, Haseo? <sighs> but there is no going back now. After all, the entire life I've given to the world was all for this day. You were the one who PK'd Shino? Yes. Furthermore, I am also the one who drew in Sakaki, and the one who gave him Ida. But why? Why would you do that? For you, Haseo. Me? To make you grow up strong. Just for something like that? You... Something like this? 
That's not it, Haseo. Everything was part of a necessary process. Thanks to you, Shino, and Alcade, and... Emily! You'll pay for this. You will. Hey! Bring it on! Let's go. All right, so the first part of this fight, not too bad. I actually might be able to push through. But when you get his HP down to about 60%, he summons the first... Oh yeah, we pushed right past it. But he summons... A black orb. And that black orb gives him a shield, but we pushed him past that. Which I also did solo, so it's not really that big a deal. So this sucks, because it hits you for like half your HP. Now he's summoning the Restore Neighbors. Those heal him. So you want to make sure you get those taken out ASAP. Yeah, this is substantially better. And then down goes up on. He's controlling Ida? Controlling? No. <sighs> Let's just say we understand each other. Ida and I are dangerous friends. And so... Now, Haseo... Become strong. Surpass your limits. And then... Kill me. Come the rebirth! Kormini! Ah! An avatar? You... You're an epitaph user? So that was substantially easier um, with a party, but basically what ended up happening, we kind of pushed through a lot of the phases super fast, because um, daggers do a lot of damage to him, and I just went all in on him with him, because I died to him like five times before that. I really did try to do the solo, but the solo just wasn't working because I wasn't able to cleave down and heal myself up at the same time. But basically what ended up happening was Ovon summons a shielding neighbor at 60% HP, you have to break the shielding neighbor. He then attacks you with his big attack, his big hit at 50% HP, and then below that he starts cycling through summoning different neighbors: a restorative neighbor, an attack neighbor, and the shielding neighbor, which he can summon up to three of them total. And he will summon them consistently. And he'll continue to do combos on you. And the biggest thing was is you could block his combos, but at the end of the combo chain, he would do a charge attack that you could not break your block to avoid. He would still cut you in the block. So. Show me your power. Now we fight. We understand each other. Corbinic, the rebirth. So the 8th Epitaph, the 8th phase of Morgana, is the Rebirth, Corbinic. I'm 
trying to focus on, like, actually taking him down in a timely manner. Okay, I'm just gonna keep taking these hits. That charge attack is super useful. Dodge his charge. Is that all you've got to give? Just keep on whittling him down. It's nice and close. We'll take our easy uh, attacks while we have them. And then go in for another set after he's been stunned. There's no more time. I don't know how much your level affects how much damage you deal in your avatar form. I don't think it does. I think it's a set amount based on where you are in the game. Oh. oh, he got the grab. I guess we wanted to see this at least once, right? Ooh. Surpass your limits. That did quite a bit of damage. Let's not let that happen again. Oh god. We must surpass Ovon by smashing all of our buttons super fast and hard. Break your controller. We understand each other. No, 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 no. Don't let that happen again. Still got caught by a needle. I thought we were good. Oh, come on, really? Oh, we got him, yes. I was gonna say again, come on. I took the hit, because I knew he was gonna take the hit as well. Oh, Vaughn! Phase 8 Epitaph, Corbinic, The Rebirth. After... After chasing down Triage for all this time... Congratulations, Haseo. Yara! 
You don't seem thrilled. Even after having your dearest wish granted. Dearest wish? This? Is it not? The truth you sought so long after is now firmly within your hands. The truth, huh? Do you think that Shino and Alcade, and the Lost Ones, were able to return to the real world? All you have done thus far is managed to PK Triedge. You have merely caught a tiny glimpse of Triedge's truth. Did you really think that would be enough to save the girls? <sighs> now you understand. Just because you've PK'd your nemesis, it doesn't mean that what you lost will return. Even if you gain fragmentary truth, it will only serve as mere information. If you do not guess at the entirety, it will be impossible to rescue the Lost Ones. That is why we must find out precisely what Ida is and how it works. In order to finally know all the facts, the truth of what has happened in this world, My fight is over. But then, what's really changed since I began? In the end, I wasn't able to save anyone. I'm tired. Shino, I'm done. For now, I just want to go back to the real world and rest. And that's the end of Volume 2. We took down our nemesis. And it brought us nothing. What's interesting was, I'm level 91. Maybe I was the appropriate level for that process. Who knows? But, or maybe I was under. No, we carved through him really fast. We might have been overleveled for that. But the interesting thing is, the max level is 100. In the first game, you got to level 45 when you fought Triage, which was about the average level that you would be at that point. Maybe a little higher. I think like your average level is like 43, 42, maybe. But in this game, you're like, 91 is over level, so I was expected to fight him at like 85-ish, 15 levels off the cap. Well, who knows? All we know is we finished Volume 2, meaning we get to get started on Volume 3 soon. What's all this then? Hmm. I don't recall inviting guests to visit. <laughs> Ida attacks another arena emperor. We have an important message. It's from Adelie. Adelie, 
she must be feeling pretty insecure without Sakaki. Delta hidden forbidden holy ground. The Hulgrons Cathedral. All right, I'll go. Looks like we're not done just yet. Let's go see what's up with Adelie. She wants to talk to us, so we're headed to the Hulgrons Cathedral. I'll go see Adelie at Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Man, it always comes back to this area. Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Where Kite got his original... Well, Kite started using his original power of the bracelet. And where Shino was PK'd. Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Let's go back. This all too familiar place. It's got so much atmosphere in this place. What's wrong? Did something happen? Am I... Am I not allowed to see you without a reason? Come on, that's not what I mean. I see there's a triage sign here too. Uh... This is the place where Shino was PK'd by Ova. This sign formed here. And then she fell into a coma. After fighting Ovan, I went to see Shino in the hospital. But she was no better than she was before. Haseo. Stronger, Haseo. Strong enough to destroy me. Okay, so that's the real credits. Um, so, Ovan's not gone. I thought that was a little short for credits, to be honest. Wow. Well, I'll let these roll.
Once, there used to be a goddess statue here. A goddess that exists in the world. Well, now, shall you and I play a game? Haseo? Let us judge Haseo. Is he innocent? Or is he guilty? Maybe the intentions are overflowing the internet. Are you trying to use me? From the very first moment you and I met, there's... There's no more time. Become strong? What is it you want? The last resort. No. I guess this was the only resort right from the start. Oh, is this it? Is this what you wanted the whole time? I know. I... I won't go back. I won't go back to being the terror of Destiny. death. Isn't decided is on the whim of some goddess. The worst thing All we can do is not run away. You call me? An extension that surpasses the system parameters? This is the X form. We, the players, make this world what it is. Joy. After all, Haseya's the leader. Sadness. <laughs> you resemble me. Love. What does a honeysuckle represent? Hate. I'll destroy that Haseo bastard. Oh. I want to do my best. Despair. Can you see the path, Haseo? All the feelings I've carved deep into the world are going into this one attack. Ovan, I won't run. And I will finish this once and for all! And there we go. You have cleared .hack GU Volume 2 Reminiscence. It is recommended that you save the game. It looks like we got a mail about Volume 3. Let's go ahead and save. It now has clear date on it. Let's go check the message. Congratulations on completing .hack G Volume 2 Reminiscence. The data saved in this condition, clear data, can be converted to use Volume 3. The steps for converting data are as follows. From the desktop, click back, go back to the title screen. That's it, it just tells us how to do it. Items XP gathered after completing the game can be transferred onto Volume 3, so it's possible to begin the sequel with, with well-prepared characters. Please be aware that certain elements from Volume 2 will not be available in Volume 3. So, in honor of your becoming the Holy Palace Emperor, we would like to present you with the following special words. We hope these will prove useful in your adventure. So they give us Moonlight, which you can use for the Doppelganger. Except in bike missions, you won't appear. Wind up, all the treasure boxes in this area will change into trap boxes, except for the ones at the Beast Temple. Magician, all the item boxes in the area will switch. If you are in a dungeon, they will be field items. If you are in a field, they will be dungeon items. Interesting. Hunt, the chance of receiving an item from all monsters in the area will increase by 25% in Scarab. The GP received from all monsters in the area will be increased by 25%. Meaning, we have ways of farming what we need. And that's it, guys. We are completely done with Dot Hack G Volume 2. Now, I have to off screen leveling the characters to 100, getting them all geared out, and taking care of the Doppelganger twice more. Now, I did look into this. Doppelganger is exactly the same. He's literally exactly the same. The only thing that's different is how you can summon him now since you get the keyword Moonlight. It makes it much easier to summon him, he just pops up for you. So, I did the, um, the special and the first volume at the end episode 30 if you didn't get a chance to watch it watch it it tells you exactly how to summon doppelganger what keywords you can use um it's fairly simple just go ahead and follow that guide and you can do it or you can just look up a guide on youtube there are plenty of other guides from other content creators um i think i might have linked one in my last video that i used if not I'll, I'll go back and i'll look for it or if you guys can't find any video just comment and remind me just toss in the comments and i'll take a look at it okay but anyway we have completed the game i'm gonna take care of all of the rest of the stuff off screen Hopefully in like the next hour, I think actually, because <laughs> I kind of I kind of really, I kinda really want to keep going and start volume three up as soon as possible because we get my favorite form, well, my second favorite form since they announced a new one, X form. Anyway guys, thank you so much for hanging out and going all the way through. At the time of this recording, we had just peaked over 10,000 views across the entire channel. We had gotten over 100 subscribers, which isn't much, but it is 
an accomplishment to me. So I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos, to like, to comment, say hey, say you enjoy the content, say, you know, I hate your content, you suck. I mean, that can happen. Communication is totally fine. If you're, you're mean, I'm just going to get rid of you on my channel. Like, it's not going to fly. So that's what you're here for. You might want to just watch the video or go somewhere else. In my opinion. We're not going to follow that. Anyway, <laughs> went off on a ridiculous tangent there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for the support. And I will see you guys in the next one.